The periosteum is a membrane which covers the outer surface of all bones with the exception of the joints around the long bones. When we look at the structure of the periosteum, we have two layers. We have the outer fibrous layer and the inner osteogenic layer. The outer fibrous layer consists of fibroblasts which make fibrin and we also have within the fibrous layer collagen, elastin, nerves and a microvascular network. The purpose of this layer is to provide mechanical stability for the periosteum. The inner osteogenic layer is more cellular in nature and the cells here really have an influence in bone formation and bone repair. So in this layer we have osteoblasts, we have mesenchymal skeletal progenitor cells and we have more fibroblasts and nerves. Something interesting to note is as you get older with age the inner osteogenic layer tends to get thinner. The periosteum is attached onto the cortical bone with very strong collagen fibers known as Sharpies fibers. A key feature of the periosteum is its role in bone healing after fracture. And usually after fracture, there is acute inflammation in the periosteum at the fracture site. And then we have thickening of the periosteum in this region. This process is known as periosteal activation. In the fractured region of bone during the healing process, it's said that there is a callus formation which is later ossified, so it becomes mineralized with bone. Studies show that cells of the periosteum contribute to this callus formation and that's likely due to the activation of those progenitor cells which are present in the osteogenic layer. This has just been a very brief overview in regards to the periosteum. I'm going to make another video in regards to the endosteum layer and uh, if you have any questions in regards to this subject write a comment in the comment section below.